Watching coverage of the Big West Tournament as part of Champ Week, presented by Dick Sporting Goods. Anaheim, California, and the Honda Center, where tonight another ticket to the NCAA Tournament will be purchased. Moments ago, Long Beach State and Hawaii taking the floor, getting ready to square off for the Big West Championship. Hawaii, the regular season winner, seeking its first big dance berth since 2002, knocked off UC Santa Barbara in the semifinals last night. Meanwhile, Long Beach State upset UC Irvine yesterday, but keep in mind that the 49ers beat Hawaii twice during the regular season, so perhaps not an upset last night. Here are the starting lineups for Hawaii. Roger Bobbitt, Quincy Smith, Aaron Valdez, Michael Thomas, and Stefan Jankovic. And for Long Beach State, Justin Bibbins, A.J. Spencer, Nick Faust, Mason Riggins, and Gabe Levin. Dave, this game has two exciting and exceptional athletes. Aaron Valdez, number 32 for Hawaii. Keep an eye on him. Second team all Big West. And Nick Faust, number two for Long Beach State. He's the newcomer of the year in the Big West. And how about his alley-oop slam dunk last night? It's the best I've seen all season. He led the conference in scoring in league games at 18 points per game. And last night played very well in the second half against UC Irvine. Aaron Valdez had almost a triple-double, 19 points, 10 boards, 7 assists. For Hawaii, which is one win shy of matching the school record set in 2002, and they're doing it with a first-year head coach, Aran Ganat, 33 years old. They've lost just five games this year, but two of those were against this Long Beach State team, coached by Dan Munson. In his ninth year, he's been to one NCAA tournament with Long Beach State. That was back in 2012. Interesting point guard matchup with Bibbins and Bobbitt. Going to see a lot of ball screens by each team. Bobbitt going back door, kicks it out to Faust, the three on the way, and rebounded by Mike Thomas. Some of the ball screens that we'll see will be part of a continuity offense, others will be random. Jankovic, the player of the year in the Big West, kicks it out. That pass broken up, Faust with the hustle. And it's Long Beach State ball. And Bivens breaking pressure, getting into the front court. Here's Levin from the outside. And the three is good. How about the push and the kick by Justin Bivens? And they call it a two foot on the line. Dave Bibbins is the guy who makes this team go. Faust may be the newcomer of the year and the leading scorer. But Bibbins leads this team in a lot of ways. Here's Bobbitt drive in the lane. Floater goes over Faust for the first points for Hawaii. And speaking about leadership, Roderick Bobbitt plays with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. Faust driving, nice move with the left hand, got past the defender, and then put it home. If you haven't seen Nick Faust this year, stay tuned. He's exciting to watch. Big time athlete who can score from deep. Three point try is good for Valdez. Pass off the mark. Spencer tried to hit Levin and the Long Beach State turnover. Aaron Valdez, 32, in the white, out of high school, no scholarships. He walks on in Hawaii. Now he's second team all league. What a great story. Was injured earlier in the season, but. Came back and has been a factor since returning to the lineup as a foul is called here on 11, the first foul of the game. Valdez, a junior from Whittier, California, 14 points, five rebounds per game. I mean, just think about that. Walk on, earns a scholarship, becomes a rotation player, then a starter, now second team all league in the Big West.
Another ticket to be purchased tonight here in Anaheim at the Honda Center, the Big West Championship game between Hawaii, the regular season champ, and Long Beach State. 5-4 in the early going, Hawaii on top, and we got a foul on the inbounds pass on Long Beach State. And they're going to get Faust for the personal. Nick Faust, who led the conference in scoring in league games. Had 28 points and a win over Hawaii during the regular season. Long Beach State beat Hawaii twice, swept them during the regular year, but Hawaii won the regular season title. Finished a game ahead of Long Beach State in the standings. Mike Thomas, a junior from Woodland Hills, California, gets the jumper. And that foul from Nick Faust is off the ball, kind of foolish. He can't afford to pick up his second and sit in the first half of this championship game. He's the leading scorer for the beach. Foul short with that one. The tip won't go. And rebounded by Quincy Smith, who got hurt last night. Injured his hip, but he's starting tonight. Hawaii was in command last night, beat UCSB. Faust with the steal. Bibbins gets it back to him. Baba with a great play. Looked like he maybe knocked it off of Faust, but they're going to give it to Long Beach State. Bobbitt is the career record holder at Hawaii in steals. They almost got one there. Well, Bibbins, they never stop Bibbins, so you don't give it up to Faust. Nobody gets in that driving line. you got to take it yourself. Bibbins knocks it down. Justin Bibbins, second team, all Big West. At 17 points, five assists last night. And the semifinal win against UC Irvine, the defending Big West champs. And they're knocked out last night by this Long Beach State team. Great matchup between Bibbins and Bobbitt. Quickness, toughness at the point guard spot. Bobbitt from deep. He had a few of those last night, putting one at the end of the half. To make it a three-point Hawaii lead at the break. Bibbins for three. And Long Beach State takes the lead. 55% from behind the arc this year in the Big West. I told you earlier, he reminds me of Tyler Eulis. Small, quick, leadership, and makes timely shots. That's his second basket here in the early going. Four minutes in, two-point lead for the 49ers. Trying to get to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2012. Hawaii hasn't been there since 2002. Mike Thomas missing. Now Bibbins with the head up. Here's Faust, guarded by Aaron Valdez, who's an excellent all-around player for Hawaii. Deep three by Hammonds. Not even close. He took a shot to the face. And shaken up. A timeout after the break for those who are watching us on ESPN News. You'll be news, you'll be able to continue the game on ESPN2. Long Beach State and Hawaii, two-point lead early on for the three seed here in the Big West Championship. Basketball is brought to you by Dick Sporting Goods. Proud to employ and support hundreds of Team USA contenders. And Infinity, luxury cars that deliver inspired performance. Long Beach State with four assists on four made baskets and a two-point lead over Hawaii. The three seed Long Beach State knocked off the defending champion UC Irvine Anteaters last night. Hawaii, the regular season champs, are in the title game for the second straight year. They lost last year. We'll see if they can get the victory tonight. They passed Paul B. and Cardi and coach. The great thing about these games for fans is it, it, it's a one-bid conference, so it's one and done. The winner's going to the big dance. The loser isn't. And plus, you get to do a little scouting if you're getting ready to fill out your bracket tomorrow and watch a team that could pull an upset in the NCAA tournament. You've coached in these games. What's the biggest thing you're looking for tonight? With everything riding on this game, the ability to handle pressure of a championship game will be key. Some people avoid pressure. Others, they embrace it. Well, Hawaii is a team that it's an interesting kind of pressure when you get a first-year head coach and 33-year-old Aran Ganat, a Hawaii team that has won 26 games. They almost beat Oklahoma during the regular season. They, they were down big in that game, but came back full within three. Meanwhile, Dan Munson, this is a, a, a school that is used to being in this situation where they're playing for a championship. They were in it three straight years, 2010, 2011, and 2012. They lost the first two, then won in 2012. But 
This is not new for him. He, he's been in these championship games with Gonzaga, played in the Big Ten tournament when he was coaching in Minnesota. But for Gannat, this is completely new. First year as a head coach. Valdez puts it on the floor. The pull up drops, and we're tied at nine. But when you talk to Coach Gannat, you feel a calmness about him, a steadiness, sure about himself, belief in his team. And he's been an assistant coach. He coached in with Randy Bennett, tournaments yeah. yep, at St. Mary's and also at Hawaii prior to going to St. Mary's with Bennett. Entry pass, and a foul is called. Stefan Jankovic, the Big West Player of the Year, was trying to come over and block the shot. They get Valdez, though, for the foul. That's his first. And the first down, Hawaii. Mason Riggins, a freshman from Texas. At the free throw line. Take a good look at him. 6'8", 250, and some change. Extremely athletic for his size. He moves really well. Gets them both. We we're talking about you know, the team that wins is going to the, to the NCAA tournament. And the team that loses isn't. You said last night that you thought the best team that could pull an upset from this conference would be UC Irvine. And then they, they're out now. So of these two teams, which do you think has the better chance of making some noise next week? I think Hawaii has the most talent and the hardest guy to guard in Yankovic. Got a foul here. That's two on Faust. He got tangled up with the offensive player off the ball. And Dan Munson going to take him out here. He's going to have to. His first foul was off the ball. The second foul. That's just not smart. It was, was foolish. And the first one was as well. That shows me mentally he's not into this game. You know, physically, yes. And emotionally. But the coach needs your mind in the game, Dave. And, and those two fouls were just unnecessary. So we'll see how long Munson keeps him on the bench. Meanwhile, Jankovic, the player of the year in the Big West, just took his first shot attempt that was off the mark from three-point line. And to finish answering your question, they have the most talent. They have size, the ability to shoot it, and they're upperclassmen. That's a travel. Now they're going to call a foul on the drive. When Good Hawaii trying to penetrate, Bobbitt picked up the foul. When Hawaii is dialed in, and they don't go on some long stretches of turnovers. They're really hard to beat. I mean, Bobbitt Sr., strong point guard. Mike Thomas is a junior. Valdez a junior. A lot of upperclassmen. Jankovic, junior as well. Blackwell, a freshman, into the game to replace Faust after picking up that foul. Driving through the lane, this Prince throwing up a wild shot, but a foul is called, and so he'll go to the line. They get Jankovic for the personal, so that's his first and the third on Hawaii. We talk about Jankovic a lot. What he needs to improve on, staying out of foul trouble is huge for this big fella. Got great skills offensively, can shoot it deep. Terrific pick and pop guy, but he doesn't like the physicality of the game. And so when you bring it to him, he fouls. So they take him out and put a guy who, who doesn't mind the physical play, and that's Stefan Jovanovic. Jankovic sits, Jovanovic comes in. How and many more bitches do we have? <laughs> the free throw is good for Prince. Four point lead for Long Beach State. It's interesting that Yovanovic just went to the bench. Only taking one shot. And they need offense right now. They're having trouble getting easy shots against this uh, Long Beach State defense. That's not a bad look by Thomas. He just couldn't finish. And now Blackwell out ahead of the pack. And this is where Long Beach State really thrives in the conversion game. They want to get it. They want to go. Bibbins does a great job of settling the deep offense down when they can't score quickly. Blackwell tried to fire it underneath, and it was deflected, but somehow it ends up in the hands of Prince. 
unable to get the basket though, and then maybe a travel that wasn't called on Jovanovic. Bobbitt, and he's going to get called for a charge. That's two on the Hawaii point guard and first team All Big West performer Roderick Bobbitt. Quincy Smith has to come back in the game. They have a two-headed monster at the point spot. Now fouls are such a factor last night as we watch two of the best players in this conference sit on the bench now for a good part of the first half. Boppet for Hawaii and Foss for Long Beach State. We had Long Beach State took 24 free throws in the first half last night. 34 for the game. Here's another foul on Hawaii. The 15 foul on the Rainbow Warriors. A big reason why Long Beach State is in this championship game. They've been to the free throw line 59 times in the last two games. That one was on Sharif Jume, a freshman from Sweden. Blackwell tracks down the loose ball. Blackwell's got to settle down. He had an entire shot clock. Just a freshman. Jacking that three up quick. Great hedge by the big fella. Blackwell not shy. Off target. Boarded by Valdez. Hawaii has three turnovers and only four baskets, and their best player on the bench right now. Their two best players, arguably, on the bench right now. One in foul trouble. And Bobbitt. Jemay. With the shot clock at nine. Jermaine drives the paint short. And a foul going to be called here on Long Beach State. That's on Branford Jones. First on him. Fourth on Long Beach State. Nine fouls, eight baskets so far. And eight and a half minutes here in Anaheim at the Big West Championship. Disneyland at the Honda Center for the Big West Championship. Long Beach State in front of Hawaii, 13 to 9. Dave Pash, Paul B. and Cardi. All right, Coach B, what uh, are the keys to winning a conference championship game? Well, I have five keys that I think are vital if you're going to win a championship game. First is defend and rebound, and I know that sounds like a cliche, but for the nights you're not shooting well, you have to defend and rebound, out-rebound your opponent for second chance points. You need a star or you need someone to play like a star. Team chemistry is vital, not talked about enough. You have to like each other, love each other, and respect each other. The ability to handle the pressure and pressure of a game is vital. And you got to be healthy. I'm going to you know, add a 16. You know, one thing about being healthy, you know, depth, I think, is overrated, but you have to be healthy to play three games in three nights. The sixth key uh, would be have your best players on the floor and not in foul trouble as Valdez <laughs> gets to the back at basket. Right now, so you've got a couple of interesting things going on. Roderick Bobbitt, first team all Big West point guard for Hawaii. He has two fouls. He's on the bench. Meanwhile, Stefan Jankovic, the player of the year, is on the bench, but only one foul. Nick Faust for Long Beach State, he's on the bench. They just changed a foul that was originally credited to him and gave it to Justin Bibbins. So Faust actually has just one foul. But you wonder if the Long Beach State coaches know that because they don't have Faust in the game. He's been out of the game the last five minutes as Yovanovich hits. Well, I can tell you from being an assistant coach and a head coach, that's the assistant coach's responsibility. He needs to go to the official scorebook on every dead ball each time a foul is called. Dave Levin puts up an air ball, knocked out of bounds by Hawaii, and now Faust is going to come back into the game. So you, you would think that at that last timeout, they were told that the foul was changed. Absolutely. The assistant coach, every timeout, goes to the scorebook to check fouls, check timeouts, and make sure everyone is on the same page. Give the information to your head coach. Tied at 13 with a spot in the NCAA tournament on the line. Hawaii, the regular season champ. It's been 14 years since they've been to the NCAA tournament as Valdez gets a steal on that skip pass attempt. Quincy Smith running the point with Bobbitt on the bench. And Smith puts it in to give Hawaii a two-point lead. Gibbons comes right back down and keeps it alive after missing the shot. Now Faust. 
No get on the three. He's one for four from the floor. And then a foul called on Long Beach State on Blackwell. Well, Bivens, he just went too deep. For a small guard, he's got to use that floater. And he has a floater. Or the jump stop and kick. At his size, he's not going to be able to finish at the rim in Faust. Half of his shots have been threes. And he's taken 100 more shots than the next guy on this Long Beach State team. He's like lightning. Valdez gets to the rim again. And a timeout by Long Beach State. The athletic ability of Aaron Valdez on display in both ends of the floor. Take a look at our tournament challenge resume brought to you by Acura. Go to ESPN.com slash bracket for more. Hawaii's record 26 and 5. Trying to get their first conference championship since 2002. Their last NCAA tournament appearance have only been four times. They won the league. They actually tied for the top spot with UC Irvine, but beat them twice, so they get the number one seed. Right now, they're shooting 62%, while Long Beach State is at 27%. And you think about this, Dave. This is the third three-game tournament for Hawaii. Played in the Rainbow Classic. Played in the Diamond Head Classic. Now this championship here at the Big West. So they're familiar with playing three games in three nights. Here's Valdez. Gets it swatted away by Faust. A vicious block by Faust. It will stay with Hawaii, though. And Faust is an exceptional athlete. Long arms. And he swats at that one. But he's got bounce, quickness. Major elevation. Well, you said it. That alley-oop last night, you and I were talking about it before the game and all the games we've seen this year. I, I don't think I've seen an alley-oop one-handed dunk like that all season in college basketball. Long Beach State will get possession. Here it was from last night. First of all, he called for the alley-oop, and, and the pass was a little bit off the mark. And look at his elevation, body control, and the timing to catch it, flush it with one hand. Here's Faust driving the lane, and bad play there. Got his back turned to the bucket, got caught in the air, and now Valdez gets it blocked again. Sloppy play right now by both teams. Turnover by Bibbins. Three on two. Smith to the bucket. Missed the layup. You know, I talked about pressure, handling the pressure of the big moment on the big stage. You know, Bibbins uncharacteristically just turned it over. He drove it too deep. That's not who he is. 11 on the baseline, no. Oh, they're going to say that it was touched last by Drume. So it's Long Beach State ball. Bibbins has to have a good assist to turnover ratio in this game because he's got a bunch of shooters and scorers around him. Now, well, Bibbins definitely touched it. The question is, did Dreme hit it after? And Tony Padilla was right there. And I felt that it did. Spencer driving. Underneath the fouls. Good defense by Hawaii. Another possession for Long Beach State. They have four baskets and four turnovers. Yet, they're only down four to Hawaii. Ugly offense right now. Well, if you, you remember last night, Long Beach State, there's Faust on the turnaround. Long Beach State only had single-digit field goals in the first half. And they got five baskets right now. Hawaii, meanwhile, 8 of 17 shooting. That's a second field goal for Nick Faust. And Long Beach State needs to get some points in the conversion game. That's where they're best. Ivanovic still on the floor. Jankovic has not returned to the game. Ivanovic trying to save it. Oh, I'm not sure why. And now Jankovic will come in when we return from timeout. But he was on the bench for a good six minutes of game action. Does not have a point. Aaron Valdez with the straight line drive and the finish. Nick Faust, the newcomer of the year in the Big West. Step back splash. Two outstanding wings in the Big West. The Clippers 
Starting with NBA countdown presented by Straight Talk Wireless at 3. And tip off at 3.30, 12.30 local time, about 45 minutes away at Staples Center. Meanwhile, here in Anaheim at the Honda Center, Hawaii on top of Long Beach State, 17-15, a spot in the NCAA tournament at stake. Winner gets the automatic bid to the big dance, and they'll find out tomorrow what their seed will be, where they're going. Meanwhile, Stefan Jankovic, the Big West Player of the Year, is back on the floor. He's played just seven minutes and taken only one shot for Hawaii. And a jump ball called here, and will go to Hawaii on the possession area. Nico Filipovic into the game. We have not seen him really at all this tournament, but he's out there right now and got tied up by Hammonds. Or actually tied Hammonds up, I should say, to force the uh, held ball. When you're playing in a championship game, you have to depend on the habits that you built in the offseason, preseason, and during the season. If you try to go outside your game right now, you're going to hurt your team. Oh, Faust, but be careful. They're reaching in. And this is going to be an offensive foul. He did extend that right arm. And that's two on Jankovic. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Jankovic, I mean, that's uncharacteristic. It was obvious. Sometimes guys try to do too much, and their emotions get the best of them. Hey, Paul, here's what I don't like, though. And tell me how you can police this. Okay, now Gabe Levin, first of all, he extended his arm, but Gabe Levin flopped at the same time. It was both. It was an offensive foul and a flop at the same time. So how do you police that as an officiating committee to clean this up? We see this so often. An offensive foul called on Long Beach State, on Hammonds. I think the timing is important. You mentioned it happened at the same time. It looked like the push-off, to me, happened just before the flop. So the flop becomes null and void at that point. Right, but do you agree that, it, that we're seeing that a lot? We're seeing guys that are exaggerating. Oh, yes, no the question. offensive play does extend the arm, but not that much. There's no question about it. We're seeing guys flop, create fouls, take dives. And right now Long Beach State with more turnovers than baskets. Yet they're only on two to Hawaii. Jovanovic driving. Overshoots the basket by three feet. He's got to get better balance before he goes up with that shot. He's got the touch and the length. And a strip, nearly a turnover by Long Beach State. Already got six of them. Just five field goals, but they can actually take the lead in this possession. Bibbins driving, great look, and a throw down by Levin, plus a foul. Gabe Levin, one tough dude. The drive by Bibbins. How about the catch? He fires that ball. The catch and the finish in traffic. That's impressive. Ball was on Drame, and that's two on him. Seven on Hawaii, 13 fouls in the game. 11. At the line to complete the three-point play. And it looks like we've got an issue here at the scores table. We have it with the, the goal counted, but in the jumbo trial, we still have it at 17-15. Now they change it. Talking with assistant coach Eric Brown of Long Beach State today. Said Levin is their tough guy. He brings physicality to the team. Great athlete and a hard worker. Transferred from Loyola Marymount. Was a starter there two years ago. Nick Faust, the transfer from Maryland. Another offensive foul. Levin drawing the charge, and this was on Tumala. And Dave, this may be just what you're talking about. If we can get a replay on that. They called the charge, but I'm not sure, so sure that Levin didn't bait him into that charge and take a flop. Watch zero on the black. That's See, to me, flop. that's a flop. That's a flop. And he baited him by standing in his way. So that's to your point of a few minutes ago. It's how do you police it? How do you referee it? You have to see it to call it. 
traveling is called. A turnover, number seven by Long Beach State. Six turnovers by Hawaii. I mean, Gabe Levin on that play, he clearly stepped into the path. Should be a defensive foul. And if you're going to flop, and, and this is, you know, I know it's hard to police it as the game's going on. We already have enough replays, but the wonder is there a way like the NBA does with fines as, boy, it happened again. Another offensive foul, but and there wasn't a ton of contact. The Spencer hit the deck. And, and now the, the officials are having a conversation as to whether this indeed was an offensive foul or a flop. Let's see. Yep. Well, I saw Valdez raise his left arm and push off. Watch 32 in the white. He's going to cut into the paint. But at the same time, the defenders for Long Beach State, you know, they do a good job of getting through that screen. I'm sorry, that's a bad call. And that's taking a, a dive. That's I a mean, bad call. You, you, they're you, diving on contact. What Long Beach State is smart right now. They're doing it because the officials are calling it. That's two on Valdez. But the defender did fight through that screen. He was physical. He got through the screen, and he created that foul. A little flex action right now by the beach. This jumper by Spencer. Battered around and out of bounds off of Long Beach State. Ninth year for Dan Munson at Long Beach State. One trip to the NCAA tournament. That was 2012. He was at Minnesota prior to that, led them to the NCAA tournament one time. At Gonzaga is where he made his name in coaching, led them to the Elite Eight back in 1999, kind of put Gonzaga on the map, and he took the Minnesota job, paving the way for Mark Few to move over a seat and get the head coaching job with the Zags. About Dan Munson, three different teams he's led to the NCAA tournament. Offensive rebound and put back by Mike Thomas off the Filipovic miss. Great energy by Thomas. You know, Dave, a lot of guys do a lot of things right in coaching. And sometimes they never get their team to the tournament. But Dan Munson to get three different programs to the NCAA tournament. That's highly successful. Four and a half to go here in the first half. Hawaii on top by one. Rainbow three. For the freshman from Sweden, Sharif Dramek. Shot just 25% from three in the regular season. Bibbins off the window. Now, no pun intended when you said rainbow three for Hawaii, no, right? was right. not. Just check it. <laughs> nice to have an analyst that listens, though, to me when I'm calling the game. We can't give out any names right now. <laughs> People listening know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Shot clock at eight. I'm just kidding. Filipovic, and there was a hand check going on, so a foul called on Long Beach State. That's on Spencer, his first. And that's the seventh team foul to be a one and one for Hawaii when we come back. A two point lead for Hawaii, 353 on the clock in the first half. Hawaii from deep, Drame. Rainbow three. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Direct TV. Don't just watch TV, Direct TV. Call 1 800 Direct TV. Last four in and first four out from our ESPN bracketologist, Joe Minardi. He's got San Diego State as the last team in, and he's got St. Mary's as the first team out. And how about Monmouth? He still has Monmouth on the good side of the bubble. And I think he's given a lot of credit to the road wins of Monmouth. 13 road wins, 17 road and neutral wins. It's who you play, who you beat, and where you play them. I mean, it, it sounds simple, and sometimes I think with all this bracketology, we, we make it complicated. I'd love to know what the NCAA uses as criteria for each like, how much do they weigh strength of schedule? Sure. How much do they weigh road wins? You never really know because you're not in that room. Quincy Smith back on the floor. So we've got another foul change. Valdez is back on the floor with one foul. Originally, he had two. They've taken a foul away from him. 
Jovanovic, we know for sure, has two. So does Bob, but they're both on the bench. Yet 13, still up four. Valdez gets the loose ball, and he's fouled. And let's see who they get here. If this is Faust, nope, it's going to be Hammonds. That's two on Hammonds. Eight on Long Beach State, so it's a one and one on the other end. I don't remember a game in a long time where they've taken away two fouls from players and assigned them to another player. I mean, once I understand, and I've seen that right. recently, but not twice in the first half. Maybe we we're headed for an absolutely crazy finish or something, the way this first half has gone. Could be wishful thinking. I talked about handling the pressure of players, coaches, and I guess officials fall under that umbrella as well. Valdez misses the front end of the one and one. Faust with the rebound. That's what he does so well. Six and a half rebounds a game, Nick Faust. Faust driving, a lot of contact, a whistle and a basket for Faust. So Faust now with six points, that's his third field goal. Faust has a high motor to score the ball. He can score over you or through you. A Maryland transfer, played three years there in Maryland and transferred to Long Beach State, set out last year. That's mandated by the NCAA. Here's a three-point try that's off the mark for Filipovic, who's getting a lot of minutes in the first half with Roderick Bobbitt, their normal starting point guard on the bench with two fouls. Entry pass to Prince. He can't finish, though. Rebounded by two Hawaii players, and then Yovanovich eventually gets control of it. Now, Filipovic, he shouldn't be shooting threes. I mean, he's shooting 25% from three. He's getting some serious minutes. Yovanovich on the baseline, knocks it down. That's four points in... Three rebounds for Yovanovich, Hawaii by four. Good defense by Hawaii on that pick and roll sequence. They helped on the baseline. Levin, offensive foul. A terrific help by Mike Thomas. Second foul on Levin. That was the best defensive possession for the Rainbows tonight. They helped multiple times. They recovered. They helped again. You see Thomas gets outside that arc. He beats Levin to the spot. Great team defense. So Levin to the bench with two fouls. That's the 18th foul we've had called in the first half, and we have 19 baskets. Two minutes to go, Hawaii by four here in the first half. Spot in the NCAA tournament at stake. Filipovic's pass broken up, a turnover by Hawaii. They turned it over eight times. Long Beach State has given it away nine times. Blackwell spot up. Three won't go, spins out. I'll tell you what, Hawaii's doing a terrific job, Dave, with getting back in defensive conversion. Long Beach State, no fast break points heading into halftime. Yovanovich on the catch, he's fouled by Riggins. Tenth team foul, first on Riggins. You know, give this Hawaii bench a lot of credit. Their two best players have only played seven minutes apiece. Bobbitt and Jankovic. Yet the subs getting it done on both ends. Their defense has been terrific. And in the last two games, Hawaii's had big second halves, as we talked about before the game. The first half, they were okay. Yeah. You know, they had a one-point lead against Fullerton. They had a three-point lead last night against Santa Barbara. And they come out smoking in the second half in each of those games. Yeah, so a total of 99 second-half points in those two games in the tournament so far. They've got a six-point lead here tonight, closing in on a minute to go. Only one missed free throw between the two teams so far in the first half. But a lot of missed three-point shots. Knifing through the lane is Spencer. And then a foul called after the miss on Long Beach State. So more free throws as Spencer commits his second foul. Hawaii will shoot two on the other end. Spencer, A.J. Spencer from Hutch Community College. 
Got to be careful. And Valdez at the line, shooting two, and the first one is short. Valdez, 69% free throw shooter. He's 0 for 2 so far in the game. And that's the second foul on Spencer. As I mentioned, he had to be careful. That's two. He's got to sit. I understand Dan Dockett just back in the studio. Coach, I, I'd love to know what Dockett thinks about all the flopping going on here tonight and in college basketball in general, if there's a way to fix it, how to go about doing it. Well, knowing Dan the way I do, he probably doesn't even want a shot clock <laughs> in the college game. But he'll have an opinion on the flops. Faust a deep three. First three-pointer for Faust. Nine points now. He gets the beach back within four. He's like lightning in a bottle. Nick Faust. He always plays hard. But he may not play well, but he plays hard. Filipovic can't answer. Faust with the rebound. Faust taking it to the hole. Wild shot. Dan, Mun Dan Munson is beside himself saying, what did you do? Yeah, Last helps. shot, yeah. fella. He said, my bad. <laughs> four seconds left. Filipovic to the bucket scores. So that's a four-point swing. Dan Munson is hot going into the locker room. And how about Nico Filipovich averaged one point per game during the regular season at four points in significant minutes because of the foul trouble with Roderick Bobbitt. On the bench for Hawaii outscoring Long Beach State's reserves 13 to 2. 31 25 here at the Big West Tournament. Hawaii leading Long Beach State. Chris Cotter and Dan Dockett with the Volkswagen halftime report coming up. You're watching coverage of the Big West Tournament as part of Champ Week, presented by Dick Sporting Goods. All that Hawaii is one half away from its first NCAA tournament appearance in 14 years. They lead Long Beach State 31-25. Back with Paul Biancardi, I'm Dave Pash. And Coach, if you're Hawaii right now, you're going to be saying, we've got the lead, yet our two best players, two first-team All-Big West players and the player of the year, barely even played as seven minutes each for Bobbitt and Jankovic and a combined two points. And those guys average combined 29 points. You mentioned they've only scored two points. They're even right now on the glass, Hawaii. When they out-rebound their opponent, they're 22-0 this year. So keep an eye on that stat in the second half. Long Beach State, zero fast break points. That's a big part of their offense. They need to get some points in the conversion game. A lot of turnovers, a lot of fouls as we go inside the numbers brought to you by Sleep Number total of 17 turnovers and 20 fouls. Meanwhile, neither team shot the ball well from three. Hawaii overall shot 48% from the floor. And Nico Filipovic had a basket at the end of the half. He actually played more minutes than the two stars, Bobbitt and Jankovic, and he's a guy that averaged less than two points per game during the regular season. Bobbitt will start the second half, as will Jankovic for Hawaii. Now, Bobbitt, if you remember, had a so-so first half last night against Santa Barbara, and he went off in the second half. Handing out assists and making threes. Let's see how he starts the second half here for the Rainbows. Here's Faust, who had nine points in the first half. That one way off the mark. He's four for 10 from the floor. He led the conference in scoring in league action, over 18 points per game, and he played very well in both meetings with Hawaii, both games won by Long Beach State. Hawaii though now with a nine point lead after the three by Quincy Smith. Quincy Smith, the glue guy for the Rainbows. He keeps the team together. He's solid, he's steady. 
He stays within himself. Legend way off. And then Jankovic with a rebound. You know, great story about Quincy Smith. He was projected as the eighth or ninth man this year. Coach Gannat told me this morning. And he's worked his way into a starting role. You know, he's an everyday guy. He's not a feel like it guy. He comes to work. He's got 5.3 assists tonight. He was number two in the Big West in steals during the regular season. Here's Jankovic looking for his first field goal, and there it is. Just a second shot of the game, and Hawaii has its largest lead. And he's a difficult matchup. Jankovic. Oh, throwdown by Riggins. Good pass by Bibbins. He did some damage to the net on that one. They had to get it unwrapped from the rim. Look at Riggins, a freshman, 6'8", 250 plus. You can hurt your hand doing that. Strong, powerful, big man from the state of Texas. A physical that. presence that Long Beach State needs in the paint. And maybe that'll get this Long Beach State team going. They need something to inspire them. Jankovic off on the three, big into the rebound. They'd love to get out and run. Bivens got caught in the air. Another take by Riggins. Offensive foul is called. That's two on Riggins. And how many offensive fouls have we had in this game? Well, you love the take by the freshman. Catches it, one hard dribble. The Thomas again, that's the second charge he's taken for the Rainbows. Excellent team defense, but you love the aggressiveness by Riggins. Long run, strong body. Trying to make something good happen for his team. 10 turnovers, 10 field goals for Long Beach State. Down nine. Well, we've seen all man to man in this game. Defensively. Long Beach State has to stay even on the glass. They're going to win this game. Rebound by Faust off the Thomas miss. Again, Bibbins looking to push tempo. Faust was open for a heartbeat. Gets into the paint and puts it in. Tough shot with Valdez defending. I was going to say, you know, he had that open shot, and he had to make it tough. That's how guys from Baltimore do it. And Faust comes over, commits a foul. Trying to defend Valdez, that's two on Faust. And Faust loves to take, and he's very good at making difficult shots. He's a streaky three-point shooter. He can't live behind the game, the line in this game, Dave. Long Beach State's gonna win. He has to get out in the open floor, come off a little curls from down screens, and attack off the drive gate. Valdez now two of four at the foul line. He has 11 points. Only two players in double figures. One for Hawaii. Valdez now with 12. And fouls for Long Beach State with 11. It's a nine-point lead again for Hawaii. Three minutes into the second half. Valdez one point away from his average. He averages 13 points in conference play. He has 12 right now. Fouls working at the elbow. And Valdez got him on the arm. Juan Valdez, Faust will go to the free throw line for the first time tonight. You love the passion that Nick Faust plays with and how much he wants to lead his team to a win. And he loves to play the game. Highly competitive, highly coachable, but he just has to make better decisions. When to drive, when to shoot it, and when to give it up. But obviously he's a terrific athlete. He has a nice shot. He, he's an upper 30 7, 38% three-point shooter. What do you think of his chances at the next level? I think he could be a second-round pick. He's got NBA size at the two spot. He's got elite athletic ability, and he shoots it really well off the bounce. In fact, he shoots it better off the bounce than he does off the catch. Good rebounder. And he plays hard. Yep. He loves to play. He's just got to read the game better. We saw him take a bad shot at the end of the first half instead of holding the final shot, and that allowed Hawaii to come down and get a bucket. A four-point yeah. swing. Shot clock down to seven. Look where Bivens is guarding Bobbitt. That's because Bobbitt hit a couple of long-range threes last night. One on the shot clock, and did he get it away? No. Shot clock violation. Smith did not release it in time. Well, the beach that time, solid. Defensively, they didn't gamble. 
They stayed with their man and forced that shot clock violation. So what do you make of this here? This is now the second time we've seen Jankovic leave early. He, he got pulled early in the first half and sat for a long time. It may be where they're just resting him. This is the third game, don't forget, in three nights. Nice move by Spencer into the chest of the defender, and it's a six-point game. You know, it could be calculated to make sure that he doesn't play too many minutes and that he's fresh down the stretch. But he only played seven minutes in the first half. Wow, a hard foul by Riggins as Thomas was trying to throw it down. Good foul. Thomas, thankfully, all right. That's three on Riggins. Well, this is called taking it to the rack. They actually called the foul on Faust, so that's three on Faust. Mike Thomas strong. Yeah, Faust whacks him from behind. Rainbows up six. Film Fantastic Lies, the story of the Duke lacrosse team, an off-campus party, and the accusations that followed. Sunday at 9 Eastern on ESPN, also streaming live on Watch ESPN and the ESPN app. Hawaii, the one seed, regular season champ, advanced by being UC Santa Barbara in the semifinals. Long Beach State knocked off UC Irvine, the defending champ last night, to get to the title game. And it's a six-point lead right now for Hawaii, which has not been to the big dance since 2002. And one of the reasons Long Beach State is down in this game. They have not been able to get out and run at all. They don't have a fast break point. In fact, neither team does here tonight. We've had a lot of fouls, a lot of turnovers, sloppy play in the open court. Mike Thomas at the line shooting two after Faust picked up his third foul and is on the bench for Long Beach State. Dave, I watched the Long Beach State Hawaii games from this year. In the most recent one, Hawaii had a six point lead with five minutes to go. At Long Beach State, lost that game. And as we've watched in this tournament, sometimes they can get loose and casual with the basketball and allow teams back into the game. Foul on the perimeter on Bobbitt. That's his third. Coach Ganat told me this morning, hey, sometimes we look really, really good, and at other times we look really sloppy. Long Beach State beat Hawaii twice during the regular season. They lost just three games in conference, two of them against Long Beach State. Including the final regular season game at Long Beach State, 74-72. So Bobbitt going to stay on the floor with three fouls. Now Bobbitt driving. Levin maybe got a piece of that. And then a three-point opportunity for Yovanovic, cleaning up inside. Extends the lead to eight for Hawaii. Yovanovic, just at the right time, right place, right time. Long Beach State has out-rebounded Hawaii twice this year. They won both of those games. It's imperative that the beach wins the game on the glass. Third foul on A.J. Spencer, and Bobbitt just went to the bench, so Aram Ganoff, the head coach for Hawaii in his first year, again with his two best players on the bench. Can Hawaii play as well as it did in the first half with its reserves on the floor here in a championship game? And the question for Long Beach State, without Faust, who's going to score the basketball? A.J. Spencer, the senior. He's got two points. Bivens, meanwhile, has seven. He's the second leading scorer in the game. You can't count on a freshman. Noah Blackwell, although very talented, they need Spencer. And Faust going to come to the scorer's table. He'll go into the next dead ball. Way off as Bivens tried to shoot over two defenders that time. Missed badly. Well, I don't think you could see. Not quite 5'8". It's tough for him to see in the lane. Lob, it's intercepted by Levin. He tried to throw it off of Yovanovich, but he stepped out first. So Faust back on the floor now for Long Beach State. This team down nine. Also, Travis Hammond 
who is the uh, sixth man of the year in the Big West. He hasn't scored. He just came into the game. Only two bench points for Long Beach State. 16 for Hawaii's bench. Faust with a good play to deflect it, but Hawaii keeps possession. Well, the beach has to get a couple of consecutive stops. Shot clock at three. Here Smith releases in time and won't go, and Faust with the rebound, his seventh board. Bibbins, and they're two of 12 from three. You have an entire shot clock, and you take a contested or semi-contested three-point shot. Even though you're a good three-point shooter, 55%, get it to Faust inside the arc, attacking the rim. And Yovanovich is the second leading scorer for Hawaii with nine points so far in the game. A three-pointer by freshman Drame. That's his second three of the game, and it's a 12-point lead, timeout beach. showing they can beat you a lot of different ways with a lot of different people. It's not the stars, Bobbin and Jankovic tonight. It's guys like Drume, Filipovic, Yovanovic for Hawaii. 4-32 with 13 and a half to go. Winner advances to the NCAA tournament. Get in the automatic bid. Find out where they will be seated tomorrow. Selection Sunday, 5 Eastern on ESPN. The entire field will be Revealed on Sports Center with Reese Davis and company. Then at 7, Bracketology presented by Staples. Two more hours with breakdowns. Streaming live and watch ESPN as well, the ESPN app. And here's Joe Lenardi's last four in and first four out as of tonight. It's good to see Temple in there still. I think they've earned their way in. I know you asked me about Mammoth before. I think they're, but Joe's putting a lot of value into their road wins. And he should. It, it's the hardest thing to do in college basketball at any level is to win on the road. And based on what you've seen from Hawaii tonight, as uh, Hammond scores his first points of the game, and, and Bobbitt and Jankovic are on the bench, yet they're still handling a team that beat them twice during the regular season. If you're a team from a major conference that might have to face Hawaii in the first round, are you a little nervous? Are, are, are you... Is this a more dangerous team because we're seeing guys that don't play a lot getting big buckets like Yovanovich? I they couldn't get that one. I mean, he's 6'11", Yovanovich. And he comes in. So yeah. And you got Mike Thomas as well. You got size. I love their point guard play with Bobbitt. He could be streaky, but he's tough. And Valdez, to me, is the X factor. Great athlete who can score at the wing. When they defend and rebound, they can beat a high major program from a Power Five conference. They're experienced, they have size, and they can score. Yeah. Very explosive team offensively. Shot clock at seven, so Jankovic returns, and he was on the bench for about four minutes of game action. He's the player of the year in the Big West, but just two points tonight, one of three shooting, but did not play a lot. Was in foul trouble in the first half. That's traveling. And Jankovic, Dave, is such a difficult matchup for anybody because he can shoot it from deep or he can post you up. He's got a mid-range game, a face-up game from the foul line. 6'11", he's mobile with great skill. Starting to get the feeling for Long Beach State. They, they're going to make their run now. And Travis Hammonds back-to-back -back buckets. It's down to single figures, eight-point lead. For the beach, they've been out of rhythm offensively in this game. They still don't have any fast-break points. And they do such a good job with that each and every game. Faust just picked up his fourth foul. He's got to be smarter. That's at least of his four fouls, two of them were totally unnecessary, including that one. So he's going to have to sit, you would think, with 11.51 left. Interesting when Dan Munson decides to bring him back in the game. Eight-point lead for Hawaii. Is brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. 
proud to employ and support hundreds of Team USA contenders. And Ram Trucks. Guts. Glory. Ram. Hawaii here in Anaheim leading Long Beach State midway through the second half, 44-36. The best player for Long Beach State, Nick Faust, just picked up his fourth foul. Remember, he actually had a foul that was called against him early in the first half that they took away. So he's, he could make the case that he's committed five fouls in the game. He's on the bench, though, officially with four for now. And he's had a couple of reach-ins, one off the ball, just unnecessary fouls that you don't have to make. You can just get your hands off. Play with your feet. Here's Spencer for three. Off the side of the rim. Out of bounds off Hawaii. San Diego State, two of 13 from three. When I see Nick Faust reaching in uh, for no reason, has no shot to get the basketball, and he commits a foul, it, it shows me that he's here physically, but his mind is not here. Well, you talked about it at the top of the telecast, that pressure playing in a championship game especially in this league where if you win you're in and if you lose you're not playing in any postseason you might get an NIT shot but only one team gonna go to the big dance in this league Hammonds for three he's starting to take over he's got seven straight points for Long Beach Day I also said you need a star and if the star is on the bench Nick Faust Someone has to play like a star. Travis Hammonds doing that for the beach right now. They led the conference in three-point shooting during the regular season. They're just 21% from behind the arc tonight, but that was a big one. Shot clock at eight. Here's Valdez. Jankovic, and he gets fouled. So Jankovic will go to the line for the first time tonight. The player of the year in the conference has just two points. Hammonds picked up the foul, his third in the sixth team foul on Long Beach State. See Hammonds, that's deep. He has that range and ability. He's a great three-point shooter, 41% in the Big West from behind the arc. And Jankovic misses the free throw. Hawaii has not been very good at the foul line tonight. Eight of 13. Two points for Stefan Jankovic, the first Hawaii player to win. Player of the Year in their conference since Anthony Carter won the WAC Player of the Year back in 1998. He gets a second free throw, third point of the game for the Big West Player of the Year in 2016 transfer from Missouri. Coach Gannat told me this morning, you know, he really wants to be a player. He's worked on his game in the offseason. Then he becomes the player of the year in the Big West. He's a junior. Shot clock at eight. Bibbins in trouble. Got it off and able to knock it down. Long Beach State within four. Nine to one run right now. By Long Beach State. And it's some zone defense. Thomas got deep in the paint that time and scored. But the zone was way too extended. Hammonds trailer three. Too strong. The putback won't go. And wow, over the top. Spencer came flying to try to get the rebound. Bodies hitting the floor, but no whistle. You see, they're just pointing and trading off players. Bobbitt misses. Blackwell out of there with it. Doesn't have numbers. Corner three. Good for Bibbins. He was number two in the conference in three-point shooting during the regular season. And he gets the 49ers within three. You see the 3-2 zone. It's a matchup zone. They talk. They trade. And they take the shape of the offense. Jermay out of control. It was knocked out of bounds by Long Beach State, though. Shot clock at 11 for Hawaii. Well, Blackwell with the baseline drive and kick. Bibbins ready to shoot it. 55% from behind the arc in the Big West. Missed the big shot. Valdez trying to lob it up there and got it to Jankovic who puts it in. 
the second field goal. Levin driving too strong. Hammonds with the rebound. Foul, and it bounces in. And then both Hammonds and Treme hit the deck. Yankovich, that's his third, a three-point chance for Hammond to his nine second-half points. Great drive right to the rim, into the body of the big fella. Hammonds rebounds in traffic, scores the ball in traffic. Gabe, I'm keeping an eye on that rebounding stat because Hawaii is 22-0 when they out-rebound their opponent. Right now, the beach up one in the rebounding department and a chance to cut it to two. So Hammonds now with 10 points. So with Nick Faust on the bench, it's been Travis Hammonds leading the comeback for Long Beach State. This is where Bobbitt has to step up. And boy, poor defense. That's on Long Beach State. Let Bobbitt go right to the rim and lay it home. And then a bad pass on the other end, trying the alley-oop, which was off the mark to Levin. This has been a half-court game. Neither team with any fast-break points. Check out Bobbitt. Little handoff curl into the lane. Bibbins loses him, and there's no help side defense. Hawaii loves to run that ball screen handoff action, getting Bobbitt turning into the lane. Just the second basket for Bobbitt. Again, he and Jankovic, the two first-team All-Big West players on the Hawaii roster, spent a good part of the first half on the bench. Hawaii actually had a larger lead when they were on the bench. Valdez misses a three offensive rebound, though, for Thomas. And he lost it out of bounds. Long Beach State ball. Hawaii taking quick and ill-advised shots against that matchup zone. They have to be patient down the stretch. Travis Hammonds leading this comeback as Long Beach State is within four, outscoring Hawaii now in the second half. Well, the junior from Columbia, South Carolina, has a three-point shot in his package, but he also can get nasty around the rim. Rebounds in traffic and scores. He's doing it outside. He's doing it inside. He senses the moment and that his team needs him right now with Faust on the bench. Yeah, and with the way Hammonds is playing and the fact that it's still close, if Dan Monson, you're, you're, you're able to feel a little bit more comfortable about having Faust on the bench until about that four or five minute mark. Right? Well, the momentum has shifted in favor of the beach. Now, you don't want to keep Faust on there too long, but as long as you're coming back, keeping it one or two possessions, stay with momentum. Step back three almost went down for Hammonds. Out of bounds off of Hawaii. That was a heat check right there for Hammonds. Or as us coaches like to say, a bad shot. Yeah. But he's bringing energy and points to Long Beach State. Levin trying to lean in to Jankovic, goes to the left hand and gets the bounce. It's a two-point game. A simple cross screen for Levin. He gets it, makes the step-through move for the deuce. And if you're Hawaii, this is where the player of the year has to, has to show up, Jankovic. Got to make plays for them. Well, he's got to get the ball, too. It's got to be Bobbitt and Jankovic. Here's Jankovic on the smaller defender. Gives it up, and Hammonds takes it away from Thomas. And a foul is called on Hawaii. It's only the fourth team foul on Hawaii. It's on Thomas. Just his first. I mentioned in the last time these two teams played, Hawaii had a six-point lead with five minutes to go at Long Beach State. They got a little sloppy. They missed some shots. The beach crushed them on the glass got a two-point win. It's starting to look like that right now.
Levin puts it on the floor, spins. Oh, great recovery by Jankovic. And here comes Valdez. Bobbitt has to settle his team down and get the ball to Jankovic. Jermay drives, lost the ball, goes sailing over Hammonds. And Hammonds shaken up. Probably fortunate for Jermay that he didn't get called for a charge there even after he lost the ball. No pass fake and drive. Oof. Bodies colliding. Hammonds took it straight on. Then he landed on top of him, made it worse. Another opportunity for Long Beach State to tie or perhaps take the lead here in this possession. Hammonds, great luck down low to Levin, and he misses it. And then Hammonds commits his fourth foul. Yeah, that was great execution. A little slip by Hammonds. They ran a cross screen. Got into the lane. Levin right under the basket. You can't draw up a better play than the one Dan Monson just did. It's part of their crackdown series. And so Hammonds is going to come out. Faust is going to come back in. He didn't want two players on the floor with four, and he didn't want his two best players on the bench with four, so they'll put one in, give Hammonds a breather. Meanwhile, a one and one for Valdez, who is three of five at the line tonight. The 17th foul on Long Beach State. Dan Munson knows how to press the buttons of his team, an experienced coach, taking three different programs to the NCAA tournament. Gets the bounce on the second one. The lead back to four with six minutes to play here in the second half. An automatic bid to the NCAA tournament at stake. Hawaii has not been there since 2002. And the regular season champs get a steal. And now they work in transition for an easy two, but it was blown. Thomas missed the layup, but didn't miss on the second chance. And that's the first two fast break points of this game. Credit Thomas with a basket and a rebound. Here's Faust, baseline cut off. And a foul is called. Good feed by Faust to Spencer. They go to the line for two. Smith picking up a foul. Hawaii so explosive with talent in the open floor. I don't know how Thomas missed that. Point blank and nobody was on him. It could be the pressure, but the alertness to get the miss. And because of that miss, neither team has a fast break point in this game. I was going to give him two points for that fast break. I mean, you're going to call that second chance. That was a second chance fast break point. Yeah. It's going based on the, the official number, but uh, I hear your point. Spencer with the free throw, 55-51. Spencer getting them both. And a wide ball, five and a half to go. And the beach going to stay in that 3-2 zone matchup. It's been good for them. Got him back in the game. Bobbitt's got to gap it. You can drive it. There's holes in that zone. And then find the shooters. Bobbitt gets the defender off his feet. Misses badly on the three. Bobbitt goes for three from behind the arc tonight. Here's Faust driving and Offensive foul. Faust is gone. Perhaps his final college game. He's upset about the call, but they changed the it, call. They just changed it. Wow. The officials had a conference and decided to change it to a blocking foul. Perhaps the defender had a foot in the restricted area. We're going to replay the foul for you again here. Yeah, the foot was on the uh, on the line there. If there's any part of your foot on the line, it's an automatic block. Oh yeah, he was clearly inside. Both feet were on and over the line. Thomas committed the foul his second. Faust with the free throw, 13 points now. 
Led the conference in scoring. Gets them both. 14 points. And it's a two-point game again as we are at the five-minute mark. Long Beach State, 11 for 12 from the strike. Great cut. And that is going to be a charge. Offensive foul. Boy, in the old days, they might have counted that basket, but now you can't get points on an offensive foul. But fouls came over and actually goaltended. Let's take a look at that. Great cut. Here's the charge. He gets his feet. Levin outside. Yep. Would have been a clear goal, Tim. Third foul on Thomas and Long Beach State with the ball down two. Both teams in the bonus now. Seven fouls apiece. Comes Faust off a double screen and a handoff. He'll take the three over Valdez. Way off the mark. That was deep and contested. I'd like to see Faust put her on the deck. Get inside the arc, maybe for the pull-up or for the layup. He's one of five from three-point land. Long Beach State is four of 18. They were the top three-point shooting team during the regular season in the Big West. Timers at five. Bobbitt's got to be aggressive. Bobbitt penetrates, missed the shot, but he was fouled. Let's see if they call it on the driver on the shot. And it's on the. Uh, Shot attempt, so two free throws. Long Beach State is in a 3-2 matchup zone. It's not tight. There's gaps. And with a guy like Roger Bobbitt, so athletic, so fast, he's got to just get into the paint and then make a decision for the jump shot, the floater, or the kick out. Bobbitt, an 82% free throw shooter, missed the first one. Just two of six from the floor, four points. Got the second one, so it's a three-point lead for Hawaii and a timeout called by the Rainbow Warriors. Four oh eight on the clock. Hawaii clinging to a three-point lead, looking for its first NCAA tournament appearance in 14 years. Well, Iran Ganat, first year head coach, 33 years old. He's got the most wins by a rookie coach in the history of the Big West. And that's saying something. That's more wins than Jerry Tarkanian and Lute Olsen had in their first seasons. So he's got a chance, first time as a head coach, to get his team to the NCAA tournament for the first time in 14 years. When you think about that, you have a brand new team, new head coach. You have to really get to know and trust each other and to win all those games and to be in this position. Just a remarkable job by Coach Ganon. There's Faust on Jankovic. He'll try a three and get it. Ties the game at 56. Nick Faust now a game-high 17 points. And he was set on that one. His feet were set. He had time. And Jankovic answer. Faust defending him. And Faust just picked up his fifth foul. If you're Nick Faust, you've got to be smarter. How can you reach in 20 feet away from the basket? Dan Monson's trying to figure it out himself. You love the energy, the shot-making ability. And then you have to live with some of the foolish fouls. And Dan Munson saying, look, we don't need you to foul out. We don't need you to reach for the basketball. Just makes no sense. He has his hands on him to start. Then he bodies him all the way to the basket. You've got to move your feet and show your hands and keep a cushion. It's a one and one. That's the 19th foul on Long Beach State. Jankovic, one of two at the line, gets the front end of the one and one. But how about this three by Nick Faust? Stare down, jab step. Splash. I mean, the shot making ability, the crunch time performer that Nick Faust is. Yeah, but now you're out of the game because of a dumb foul. You hurt your team on the other end. No question. You just negated everything you've done well. 
Hawaii by two after the Yankovic foul shots. Nearing three minutes to go. Levin drives, gets to the rim, puts it home to tie it again. What a game. The supporting cast for the beach. Hammonds. Levin. Bob it way off. He knew it though and tracked down his own miss. He's 0 for 4 from three point land. Last night he had four threes. And a couple that were deep in their win in the semifinal. Jankovic from outside drains the three. The Big West player of the year with a big shot. And Spencer was there, but he wasn't close enough. Jankovic now in double figures with 10 points. Long Beach State beat Hawaii twice during the regular season. Down three, shot clock at six. Hammonds, shot clock at one, and it's a violation. The player of the year in the Big West, Stefan Jankovic, Spencer, close but not close enough. Three ball and the kiss. See if they go back to him here. And it's got to be Bobbitt gapping the zone. Or back to Jankovic to make a play. Here's Jankovic just inside the arc. Puts it on the floor. Takes it to the rim. Offensive foul is called. That's four on Jankovic as Spencer draws the charge with 149 on the clock. A terrific weak side help by the beach. That's Spencer. He got there before yeah. the upward motion, I mean, right? he read that his teammate needed the help. He got there quickly. That's excellent team defense. So are, are you surprised that he took Jankovic out here? 149 to go with four fouls. Well, right now they're on defense, so it's not a bad move. You don't want to pick up that last foul. In case this game may go into overtime, you don't know. Maybe sub him in for offense, offense and take him out for defense. Yeah. I love the move by the Big West Coach of the Year. Beach State with a minute 44 to play. The winner advances to the NCAA tournament, securing an automatic bid. Hawaii has not been there since 2002. They are the regular season champs on the number one seed. Long Beach State last night knocked off the defending champion UC Irvine. Anteaters 77-72 to get to tonight's title game. And it's Long Beach State ball. Both teams are in the bonus. Jankovic, the best player for Hawaii on the bench right now with four fouls. Nick Faust has fouled out Long Beach State's best player. Well, if you're the beach, you want to get Hammonds a touch or a shot. Bibbins, 21 in the black. He's going to have to control the action. Make sure that he doesn't over-penetrate and get in too deep. Spence has been quiet tonight for the beach. Average is 13 a game right now with four. Bibbins and Hammonds. Maybe in a two-man game, they've been the hot hand. Bobbitt picks up Bivens at half court. Here's a three by Spencer that's way off, but Hammond's got the rebound, and the putback bounces in. I'll tell you what, he's been Mr. Everything tonight for the beach. Timeout by Hawaii, and you would imagine the Yankovic will come back in here. You said going offense defense and he'll check back in. Well, Spence has been cold in this game. And that shot was ice cold. But Hammonds, the alertness to grab it, get up to the glass quick. He's made a three point shot. He scored the ball off the bounce. He may be the go to guy, Dave, down the stretch. Hawaii trying to close this out, a one-point lead over Long Beach State. The Hawaii women's basketball team won the Big West Tournament today. The last time there was a season in which the men and women both won, 
The Big West last time was 2002 and see Santa Barbara did it. Hawaii won the women's championship earlier today here in Anaheim. The men's team has possession. 119 remaining. A one point lead. Yankovic is back on the floor. He's got 10 points after playing only seven minutes in the first half and had just one shot. Did not score. All those points coming since intermission. And Long Beach State, the man to man, they have to stay close and connected to Yankovic off the ball screen. Bobbitt going away from the screen with a nice pass. Thomas can't finish, but he was fouled. And if that's Hammonds, he's gone. It is on Travis Hammonds. So the two most dangerous scores for Long Beach State, Faust and Hammonds, are both done for the night. Roderick Bobbitt doesn't use the screen. Beats his man, creates the help from Hammonds, draws the foul. Long Beach State is so concerned about Yankovic on the ball screen. They're really jamming him tight. Bobbitt rejected it. He showed you the blow by speed. And Mike Thomas only a 55% free throw shooter. 0 for 2 tonight, shooting 2. Misses the first. Each team with a timeout remaining. Hawaii as a team has missed seven free throws tonight. Got the second one. Two point lead for Hawaii. Where will Long Beach State go on this possession offensively with Faust and Hammonds? Both on the bench fouling out. Just a little floppy action. Blackwell a off freshman the for three and he can't get the bounce rebounded by Valdez They're just five of 21 from three-point land one possession game Double digits on the shot clock difference This could be it for the beach they need a stop they elect not to foul Trying to play defense here. Bobbitt gets it rejected by Levin, but gets it back. He's trying to call timeout. And Stick Travel in this call. He was right in front of the official, Tony Padilla. And he did bobble the ball and slip as he was trying to call timeout. And the traveling violation gives the ball to Long Beach State. And you normally don't see this by Bobbitt. Just out of control. Gibbons into the front court, calls Long Beach State's final timeout with 18.2 seconds remaining in regulation. So if you're without Faust and Hammonds, do you try to win it in regulation and go for a three here, Coach? You got to tie this game up. You, you got to get the best shot you can get, whether it's a three or a two. And I think it has to be Bibbins right now. 50% from the field, 55% from threes. He's 86% from the line, Dave. So you want the basketball in his hands because if he gets fouled, he can tie this game up. Although if there was a foul on the floor, it would be a one and one for Long Beach State. 18 fouls on Hawaii. It will be interesting though to see if, the, if Dan Munson's thinking, you know what, if we get to overtime, it's going to be hard to win without my, my two top scores. I, I've got to get a three here. Let's see if that's what they do. Well, if it's, if it's going to be a three, look for Blackwell. But I like Bibbins with the basketball to score or to be a playmaker. Maybe find the freshman. Well, Blackwell just missed. A three-point attempt. He's 0 for 4 from out there. And the other thing you always have to keep in mind is the missed shot, the offensive rebound putback. Hawaii must be solid. Stay with their man. No confusion. Contest the shot. Stay between their man and the basket and make it one and done. Interesting. They're putting Bibbins away from the ball, and they're going to give... Possession of Blackwell again. No timeouts for Long Beach State. You're going to see Bivens come to the ball, I believe. Here's Levin with eight seconds to go. Levin to Bivens for three. Short. Loose ball out of bounds. And it's going to Hawaii with 1.3 remaining. 
Now they can look at this to see who touched it last. A.J. Spencer was over there for Long Beach State trying to save it. Ruling on the floor is Hawaii ball. And they're going to take a look at the monitor to make sure. What did you think of the shot by Bibbins there? Had a good look, right? Got Bobbitt off his feet. He had a great look, and that's why he was off the ball to come back to the basketball. But let's see who the ball went off of. It, it may have hit 25 and white Mike Thomas. Spencer goes to save it. The question is, is Spencer out of bounds? No, his feet are in the air. And then did the ball hit Thomas? Can you clearly see that it hit Thomas? That angle, you couldn't tell. The other angle was better. Let's see here. Okay, take a look at this. Spencer up in the air. Okay, two hands on the ball, two feet in the air. He throws that off of Thomas. Depends where his right foot is. I, I don't know. It almost looked like it went through his legs. It's hard to tell if it hit him. And if we don't have conclusive video evidence, they will not overturn this. So if you're Dan Gannault right now, you're talking about getting the ball in bounds if you have the basketball. And it's going to be in an awkward spot on the sideline near the corner. Let's see if we can tell. That I think it just like went between his legs and didn't touch him. I think you're exactly right. That ball went. Watch this. Watch Spencer throw the ball at Thomas. Well, here's here's the other question. If that If that didn't hit him, the ball actually didn't go out of bounds. It, Bibbins had possession. He was in bounds. They should not have stopped the clock. Think about that. If, if it, because right here, Thomas is out of bounds. If it doesn't hit him. No, it looks like the ball hit the baseline. If you rewind that one more time, when Spencer throws it, it looks like it may have touched the baseline. Well, if it did, then it's definitely Hawaii ball. That's what it looked like to me. And the ball is going to be not in the dead corner, but in front of the Long Beach State bench. Coaches have to figure out if they're on offense or defense. Coach Gannott right now thinking about how he's going to get the ball in bounds. It is Hawaii ball. Don't know if they had enough evidence there. It, but what but they, we saw, it, it looked like it went right through his legs. So maybe you're right. Maybe it did hit the baseline. Otherwise, they shouldn't have blown the whistle. Well, this is now on the baseline near the corner. Tough spot to get it in. Hawaii with one timeout if they need it. They did add some time to the clock. Two seconds to go. It's knocked away by Blackwell out of bounds. A second one off the clock, though. Well, Dave, if you're Hawaii, you have to scream and cut not just once, but cut a second time to get open. Long Beach State is desperate right now. They're going to be in full denial mode. They might go look at the monitor here. They, they, they say 1.1 came off the clock. That, that seems like it's too much. I mean, we saw a guy catch and shoot from three-quarter court with eight-tenths of a second left. Blackwell just deflected the ball. The clock starts as soon as it's touched by a player on the floor. And I don't think more than a second went off the clock by the time Blackwell touched it and went out. Good job by Tony Padilla to get this thing going here and make sure they get it right. No, it's all about getting it right, but watch the inbounds, the denial. Ball comes in, Blackwell knocks it out. That's like 1.5 or 6. That's I mean. 1 point, oh, I say 3. But regardless, Hawaii right now in your huddle. The guy you trust the most has to inbounds the basketball. You have to get open. If you can get open, if you can pass and catch right now for Hawaii, you win this game. And you go to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2002. So 1.7. They put eight tenths of a second back on the clock. Long Beach State out of timeouts, trying to get the steal and a basket. If not, an immediate foul. And here's a foul before the inbound. And it's committed by Bibbins on Bobbitt, who is Hawaii's best free throw shooter. So Bobbitt at the other end will shoot two. I like the idea of that foul. Because no time goes off the clock. If he splits these, you can make a three and tie it up. Bob 
Abbott, one of two at the line tonight. Already gets that one. So do you make this one? And obviously, yeah, you make it to win the game here. You make it, and you get out of the way. So a chance for Bobbitt to finish off Long Beach State here with another free throw. 81% free throw shooter, the senior, Roderick Bobbitt. If he misses, it's going to be a three-quarter court attempt for Long Beach State, but he doesn't miss. Bobbitt nails it, four-point lead for Hawaii. 11 from half court, that's it. Hawaii, for the first time in 14 years, is going to the NCAA tournament. First year head coach, Ron Gannott, at age 33. Leading the Rainbow Warriors back to the big dance. Just the fifth time in school history. This game, Hawaii was 22-0 and when they out-rebounded their opponent. Tonight, they're plus five on the glass, 23-0. and to 64-60, the final score. Hawaii knocks off Long Beach State. 27th win for the Rainbow Warriors, matching a school record for most wins. Tying the 2002 team, the last team to go to the NCAA tournament for Hawaii. For Paul Biancardi and entire crew, I'm Dave Pash. It's been a great weekend here in Anaheim. Congratulations to Aran Ganon and the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors as they win the Big West, beating Long Beach State 64 to 60. Coming up next on ESPN2, it's NBA tonight. So long from Anaheim. coverage of the Big West Tournament as part of Champ Week, presented by Dick Sporting Goods. Anaheim, California, and the Honda Center, where tonight another ticket to the NCAA Tournament will be purchased. Moments ago, Long Beach State and Hawaii taking the floor, getting ready to square off for the Big West Championship. Hawaii, the regular season winner, seeking its first big dance berth since 2002. Knocked off UC Santa Barbara in the semifinals last night. Meanwhile, Long Beach State upset UC Irvine yesterday, but keep in mind that the 49ers beat Hawaii twice during the regular season, so perhaps not an upset last night. Here are the starting lineups for Hawaii. Roderick Bobbitt, Quincy Smith, Aaron Valdez, Michael Thomas, and Stefan Yankovic. And for Long Beach State, Justin Bibbins, A.J. Spencer, Nick Faust, Mason Riggins, and Gabe Levin. Dave, this game has two exciting and exceptional athletes. Aaron Valdez, number 32 for Hawaii. Keep an eye on him. Second team all Big West. And Nick Faust, number two for Long Beach State. He's the newcomer of the year in the Big West. And how about his alley-oop slam dunk last night? It's the best I've seen all season. He led the conference in scoring in league games at 18 points per game. And last night played very well in the second half against UC Irvine. Aaron Valdez had almost a triple-double, 19 points, 10 boards, 7 assists. For Hawaii, which is one win shy of matching the school record set in 2002, and they're doing it with a first-year head coach, Aran Ganat, 33 years old. They've lost just five games this year, but two of those were against this Long Beach State team, coached by Dan Munson. In his ninth year, he's been to one NCAA tournament with Long Beach State. That was back in 2012. Interesting point guard matchup with Bibbins and Bobbitt. Going to see a lot of ball screens by each team. Bobbitt going back door, kicks it out to Faust, the three on the way, and rebounded by Mike Thomas. Some of the ball screens that we'll see will be part of a continuity offense, others will be random. 
Jankovic, the player of the year in the Big West, kicks it out. That pass broken up, Faust with the hustle. And it's Long Beach State ball. And Bivens breaking pressure, getting into the front court. Here's Levin from the outside. And the three is good. How about the push and the kick by Justin Bivens? And they call it a two foot on the line. Dave Bibbins is the guy who makes this team go. Faust may be the newcomer of the year and the leading scorer. But Bibbins leads this team in a lot of ways. Here's Bobbitt drive in the lane. Floater goes over Faust for the first points for Hawaii. And speaking about leadership, Roderick Bobbitt plays with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. Faust driving, nice move with the left hand, got past the defender, and then put it home. If you haven't seen Nick Faust this year, stay tuned, he's exciting to watch. Big time athlete who can score from deep. Three point try is good for Valdez. Pass off the mark. Spencer tried to hit Levin and the Long Beach State turnover. Aaron Valdez, 32, in the white, out of high school, no scholarships. He walks on in Hawaii. Now he's second team all league. What a great story. He was injured earlier in the season, but. Came back and has been a factor since returning to the lineup as a foul is called here on 11, the first foul of the game. Valdez, a junior from Whittier, California, 14 points, five rebounds per game. And just think about that. Walk on, earns a scholarship, becomes a rotation player, then a starter, now second team all league in the Big West. Another ticket to be purchased tonight here in Anaheim at the Honda Center, the Big West Championship game between Hawaii, the regular season champ, and Long Beach State. 5-4 in the early going, Hawaii on top, and we got a foul on the inbounds pass on Long Beach State. And they're going to get Faust for the personal. Nick Faust, who led the conference in scoring in league games. At 28 points and a win over Hawaii during the regular season. Long Beach State beat Hawaii twice, swept them during the regular year, but Hawaii won the regular season title. Finished a game ahead of Long Beach State in the standings. Mike Thomas, a junior from Woodland Hills, California, gets the jumper. And that foul for Nick Faust is off the ball, kind of foolish. He can't afford to pick up his second and sit in the first half of this championship game. He's the leading scorer. For the beach. Foul short with that one. The tip won't go. And rebounded by Quincy Smith, who got hurt last night. Injured his hip, but he's starting tonight. Hawaii was in command last night, beat UCSB. Fouls with the steal. Bibbins gets it back to him. Baba with a great play. Looked like he maybe knocked it off of Fouls, but they're going to give it to Long Beach State. Bobbitt is the career record holder at Hawaii in steals. And he almost got one there. Well, Bibbins, they never stop Bibbins, so you don't give it up to Faust. Nobody gets in that driving line. you got to take it yourself. Bibbins knocks it down. Justin Bibbins, second team, all Big West. At 17 points, five assists last night. And the semifinal win against UC Irvine, the defending Big West champs. And they're knocked out last night by this Long Beach State team. Great matchup between Bibbins and Bobbitt. Quickness, toughness at the point guard spot. Bobbitt from deep, he had a few of those last night, putting one at the end of the half. To make it a three-point Hawaii lead at the break. Bibbins for three, and Long Beach State takes the lead. 55% from behind the arc this year in the Big West. I told you earlier, he reminds me of Tyler Eulis. Small, quick, leadership, 
and makes timely shots. That's his second basket here in the early going. Four minutes in, two-point lead for the 49ers. Trying to get to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2012. Hawaii hasn't been there since 2002. Mike Thomas missing. Now Bivens with the head up. Here's Faust, guarded by Aaron Valdez, who's an excellent all-around player for Hawaii. Deep three by Hammonds. Not even close. He took a shot to the face. And shaken up. Got a timeout after the break. For those who are watching us on ESPN News, you'll be, news, you'll be able to continue the game on ESPN2. Long Beach State and Hawaii. Two-point lead early on for the three seed here in the Big West Championship. Basketball is brought to you by Dick Sporting Goods. Proud to employ and support hundreds of Team USA contenders. And Infinity, luxury cars that deliver inspired performance. Long Beach State with four assists on four made baskets and a two-point lead over Hawaii. The three seed Long Beach State knocked off the defending champion UC Irvine Anteaters last night. Hawaii, the regular season champs, are in the title game for the second straight year. They lost last year. We'll see if they can get the victory tonight. Dave Pash, Paul B. and Cardi, and Coach, the great thing about these games for fans is it, it, it's a one-bid conference, so it's one and done. The winner's going to the big dance. The loser isn't. And plus, you get to do a little scouting if you're getting ready to fill out your bracket tomorrow and watch a team that could pull an upset in the NCAA tournament. You've coached in these games. What's the biggest thing you're looking for tonight? With everything riding on this game, the ability to handle pressure of a championship game will be key. Some people avoid pressure. Others, they embrace it. Well, Hawaii is a team that it's an interesting kind of pressure when you get a first-year head coach and 33-year-old Aran Ganat, a Hawaii team that has won 26 games. They almost beat Oklahoma during the regular season. They, they were down big in that game but came back full within three. Meanwhile, Dan Munson, this is a, a, a school that is used to being in this situation where they're playing for a championship. They were in it three straight years, 2010, 2011, and 2012. They lost the first two, then one in 2012. But this is not new for him. He, he's been in these championship games with Gonzaga, played in the Big Ten tournament when he was coaching in Minnesota. But for Gannat, this is completely new. First year as a head coach. Valdez puts it on the floor. The pull-up drops, and we're tied at nine. But when you talk to Coach Gannat, you feel a calmness about him, a steadiness, sure about himself, belief in his team. And he's been an assistant coach. He coached him with Randy Bennett. Bennett. Yeah. Yep, St. Mary's and also at Hawaii prior to going to St. Mary's with Bennett. Entry pass, and a foul is called. Stefan Jankovic, the Big West Player of the Year, was trying to come over and block the shot. They get Valdez, though, for the foul. That's his first. And the first down, Hawaii. Mason Riggins, a freshman from Texas, at the free throw line. Take a good look at him. 6'8", 250, and some change. Extremely athletic for a size. He moves really well. Gets them both. We we're talking about you know, the team that wins is going to the, to the NCAA tournament. And the team that loses isn't. You said last night that you thought the best team that could pull an upset from this conference would be UC Irvine. And then they, they're out now. So of these two teams, which do you think has the better chance of making some noise next week? I think Hawaii has the most talent and the hardest guy to guard in Yankovic. Got a foul here. That's two on Faust. He got tangled up with the offensive player off the ball. And Dan Munson going to take him out here. He's going to have to. His first foul was off the ball. The second foul. That's just not smart. It was, was foolish. And the first one was as well. That shows me mentally. He's not into this game. You know, physically, yes, and emotionally, but the coach needs your mind in the game, Dave, and, and those two fouls were just unnecessary. So we'll see how long Munson keeps him on the bench. Meanwhile, 
Jankovic, the player of the year in the Big West, just took his first shot attempt that was off the mark from three-point land. And to finish answering your question, they have the most talent. They have size, the ability to shoot it, and they're upperclassmen. That's a travel. Now they're going to call a foul on the drive. Good when Hawaii, trying to penetrate, Bobbitt picked up the foul. When Hawaii is dialed in, and they don't go on some long stretches of turnovers, they're really hard to beat. I mean, Bobbitt Sr., strong point guard. Mike Thomas is a junior. Valdez a junior. A lot of upperclassmen. Jankovic, junior as well. Blackwell, a freshman, into the game to replace Faust after picking up that foul. Driving through the lane is Prince throwing up a wild shot, but a foul is called, and so he'll go to the line. Back at Jankovic for the personal, so that's his first and the third on Hawaii. We talk about Jankovic a lot, what he needs to improve on. Staying out of foul trouble is huge for this big fella. He's got great skills offensively, can shoot it deep. Terrific pick and pop guy, but he doesn't like the physicality of the game. And so when you bring it to him, he fouls. So they take him out and put a guy who, who doesn't mind the physical play, and that's Stefan Jovanovic. Jankovic sits, Jovanovic comes in. How many more bitches do we have? <laughs> the free throw is good for Prince. Four point lead for Long Beach State. It's interesting that Yovanovitch just went to the bench. Only taking one shot. And they need offense right now. They're having trouble getting easy shots against this uh, Long Beach State defense. That's not a bad look by Thomas. He just couldn't finish. And now Blackwell out ahead of the pack. And this is where Long Beach State really thrives in the conversion game. They want to get it. They want to go. Bibbins does a great job of settling the deep offense down when they can't score quickly. Blackwell tried to fire it underneath, and it was deflected, but somehow it ends up in the hands of Prince. Unable to get the basket, though, and then maybe a travel that wasn't called on Jovanovic. Bobbitt, and he's going to get called for a charge. That's two on the Hawaii point guard, and first-team All-Big West performer Roderick Bobbitt. Quincy Smith has to come back in the game. They have a two-headed monster at the point spot. Now fouls are such a factor last night as we watch two of the best players in this conference sit on the bench now for a good part of the first half. Bobbitt for Hawaii and Foss for Long Beach State. We had, Long Beach State took 24 free throws in the first half last night. 34 for the game. Here's another foul on Hawaii. The 15 foul on the Rainbow Warriors. A big reason why Long Beach State is in this championship game. They've been to the free throw line 59 times in the last two games. That one was on Sharif Jume, a freshman from Sweden. Blackwell tracks down the loose ball. Blackwell's got to settle down. He had an entire shot clock. Just a freshman. Jacking that three up quick. Great heads by the big fella. Blackwell not shy. Off target. Boarded by Valdez. Hawaii has three turnovers and only four baskets, and their best player on the bench right now. Their two best players, arguably, on the bench right now. One in foul trouble. And Bobbitt. Jermay. With the shot clock at nine. Jermaine drives the paint short. And a foul going to be called here on Long Beach State. That's on Branford Jones. First on him. Fourth on Long Beach State. Nine fouls, eight baskets so far. And eight and a half minutes here in Anaheim at the Big West Championship. Disneyland at the Honda Center for the Big West Championship. Long Beach State in front of Hawaii 13 to 9. 
Dave Pash, Paul B. and Cardi. All right, Coach B, what uh, are the keys to winning a conference championship game? Well, I have five keys that I think are vital if you're going to win a championship game. First is defend and rebound, and I know that sounds like a cliche, but for the nights you're not shooting well, you have to defend and rebound, out-rebound your opponent for second-chance points. You need a star, or you need someone to play like a star. Team chemistry is vital, not talked about enough. You have to like each other, love each other, and respect each other. The ability to handle the pressure and pressure of a game is vital, and you got to be healthy. I'm going to you know, add a sixth key. Well, you know, one thing about being healthy, you know, depth, I think, is overrated, but you have to be healthy to play three games in three nights. The sixth key uh, would be have your best players on the floor and not in foul trouble as Valdez <laughs> gets to the back at basket. Right now, so you've got a couple of interesting things going on. Roderick Bobbitt, first team all Big West point guard for Hawaii. He has two fouls. He's on the bench. Meanwhile, Stefan Jankovic, the player of the year is on the bench, but only one foul. Nick Faust for Long Beach State, he's on the bench. They just changed a foul that was originally credited to him and gave it to Justin Bibbins. So Faust actually has just one foul. But you wonder if the Long Beach State coaches know that because they don't have Faust in the game. He's been out of the game the last five minutes as Yovanovich hits. Well, I can tell you from being an assistant coach and a head coach, that's the assistant coach's responsibility. He needs to go to the official scorebook on every dead ball each time a foul is called. Dave Levin puts up an air ball, knocked out of bounds by Hawaii, and now Faust is going to come back into the game. So you, you would think that at that last timeout, they were told that the foul was changed. Absolutely. The assistant coach, every timeout, goes to the scorebook to check fouls, check timeouts, and make sure everyone is on the same page. Give the information to your head coach. Tied at 13 with a spot in the NCAA Tournament on the line. Hawaii, the regular season champ. It's been 14 years since they've been to the NCAA Tournament as Valdez gets a steal on that skip pass attempt. Quincy Smith running the point with Bobbitt on the bench. And Smith puts it in to give Hawaii a two-point lead. Gibbons comes right back down and keeps it alive after missing the shot. Now Faust. No get on the three. He's one for four from the floor. And then a foul called on Long Beach State on Blackwell. Well, Bivens, he just went too deep. For a small guard, he's got to use that floater. And he has a floater. Oh, the jump stop and kick. And his size is not going to be able to finish at the rim. And Faust, half of his shots have been threes. And he's taken 100 more shots than the next guy on this Long Beach State team. He's like lightning. Valdez gets to the rim again. And a timeout by Long Beach State. The athletic ability of Aaron Valdez on display on both ends of the floor. Take a look at our tournament challenge resume brought to you by Acura. Go to ESPN.com slash bracket for more. Hawaii's record 26 and 5. Trying to get their first conference championship since 2002. Their last NCAA tournament appearance have only been four times. They won the league. They actually tied for the top spot with UC Irvine, but beat them twice, so they get the number one seed. Right now, they're shooting 62%, while Long Beach State is at 27%. When you think about this, Dave, this is the third three-game tournament for Hawaii. Played in the Rainbow Classic, played in the Diamond Head Classic. Now this championship here at the Big West. So they're familiar with playing three games in three nights. Here's Valdez. Gets it slaughtered away by Faust. A vicious block by Faust. It will stay with Hawaii, though. And Faust is an exceptional athlete. Long arms. And he swats at that one. But he's got bounce, quickness, major elevation. Well, you said it. That alley-oop last night, you and I were talking about it before the game and all the games we've seen this year. I, I don't think I've seen an alley-oop one-handed dunk like that all season in college basketball. Long Beach State will get possession. Here it was from last night. First of all, he called for the alley-oop, and, and the pass was a little bit off the mark. And look at his elevation, body control. And the timing 
to catch it, flush it with one hand. Here's Faust driving the lane, and bad play there. He got his back turned to the bucket, got caught in the air, and now Valdez gets it blocked again. Sloppy play right now by both teams. Turnover by Bibbins. Three on two. Smith to the bucket. Missed the layup. You know, I talked about pressure, handling the pressure of the big moment on the big stage. You know, Bibbins uncharacteristically just turned it over. He drove it too deep. That's not who he is. 11 on the baseline, no. Oh, they're going to say that it was touched last by Drume. So it's Long Beach State ball. Bibbins has to have a good assist to turnover ratio in this game because he's got a bunch of shooters and scorers around him. Well, Bibbins definitely touched it. The question is, did Drume hit it after? And Tony Padilla was right there. And felt that it did. Spencer driving underneath the fouls. Good defense by Hawaii. Another possession for Long Beach State. They have four baskets and four turnovers, yet they're only down four to Hawaii. Ugly offense right now. Well, if you, you remember last night, Long Beach State, there's Faust on the turnaround. Long Beach State only had single-digit field goals in the first half. And they got five baskets right now. Hawaii, meanwhile, 8 of 17 shooting. That's a second field goal for Nick Faust. The Long Beach State needs to get some points in the conversion game. That's where they're best. Ivanovic still on the floor. Jankovic has not returned to the game. Ivanovic trying to save it. Oh, I'm not sure why. And now Jankovic will come in when we return from timeout. But he was on the bench for a good six minutes of game action. Does not have a point. Aaron Valdez with the straight line drive. And the finish, Nick Faust, the newcomer of the year in the Big West. Step back splash. Two outstanding wings in the Big West. The Clippers, starting with NBA Countdown, presented by Straight Talk Wireless at 3. And tip off at 3.30, 12.30 local time, about 45 minutes away at Staples Center. While here in Anaheim at the Honda Center, Hawaii on top of Long Beach State, 17-15, a spot in the NCAA tournament at stake. Winner gets the automatic bid to the big dance, and they'll find out tomorrow what their seed will be, where they're going. Meanwhile, Stefan Jankovic, the Big West Player of the Year, is back on the floor. He's played just seven minutes and taken only one shot for Hawaii. And a jump ball called here, and will go to Hawaii on the possession area. Nico Filipovic into the game. We have not seen him really at all this tournament, but he's out there right now and got tied up by Hammonds. Or actually tied Hammonds up, I should say, to force the uh, held ball. When you're playing in a championship game, you have to depend on the habits that you built in the offseason, preseason, and during the season. If you try to go outside your game right now, you're going to hurt your team. Oh, fouls to be careful. They're reaching in. And this is going to be an offensive foul. He did extend that right arm. And that's two on Jankovic. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Jankovic, I mean, that's uncharacteristic. It was obvious. Sometimes guys try to do too much, and their emotions get the best of them. Hey, Paul, here's what I don't like, though. And tell me how you can police this. Okay, now Gabe Levin, first of all, he extended his arm, but Gabe Levin flopped at the same time. It was both. It was an offensive foul and a flop at the same time. So how do you police that as an officiating committee to clean this up? We see this so often. An offensive foul called on Long Beach State, on Hammonds. I think the timing is important. You mentioned it happened at the same time. It looked like the push-off to me happened just before the flop. So the flop becomes null and void at that point. Right, but do you agree that, it, that we're seeing that a lot? We're seeing guys that are exaggerating. Oh, yes, no the question. offensive play does extend the arm, but not that much. There's no question about it. We're seeing guys flop, create fouls, take dives. 
Well, you got Long Beach State with more turnovers than baskets. Yet they're only on two to Hawaii. Jovanovic driving. Overshoots the basket by three feet. He's got to get better balance before he goes up with that shot. He's got the touch and the length. And a strip, nearly a turnover by Long Beach State. Already got six of them. There's five field goals where they can actually take the lead in this possession. Bibbins driving, great look, and a throwdown by Levin, plus a foul. Gabe Levin, one tough dude. The drive by Bibbins. How about the catch? He fires that ball. The catch and the finish in traffic. That's impressive. Ball was on Dreme, and that's two on him. Seven on Hawaii, 13 fouls in the game. 11. At the line to complete the three-point play. And it looks like we've got an issue here at the scores table. We have it that the, the goal counted, but in the jumbo time, we still have it. It's 17-15, now they change it. Talking with assistant coach Eric Brown of Long Beach State today. Said Levin is their tough guy. 